So, Richard, we pulled out a big win. We absolutely crushed Tunisia. Well, England style. Yeah, who's next? Panama. The big guns. The big ones. Do you think we can do it? Maybe. Let's get on to the questions, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Do you feel better or worse about England's chances after their performance against Tunisia? I do feel better this time because of all the other groups and all the other games. Mm -hmm. Germany getting beat, Brazil, you know, drawing with Switzerland. I, I think it's anyone's World Cup. I really do. Yeah, it really is. I mean, it? Portugal and <coughs> Spain, oh, well, fantastic what game. A hell of a One game of the that best was. games I've ever seen in a World Cup. Yeah. But, you know, after Spain's performance against Iran, why haven't we got a chance? Yeah, the powerhouses right? are not being powerhouses. No, no. Argent we haven't seen nothing from Argentina. Messi's done nothing. No. Nope. Right? So, yeah, I think we've got a chance. Yeah, I do feel, I do feel better. Yeah, definitely. All right. Is England's midfield good enough to challenge Belgium and other strong teams? Potentially, yeah, the players are there. They're on paper. The point I've made is, what exactly is England's midfield at the moment? I mean, the one thing you see from the first game was you're seeing players that you'd think are defenders up near in the, in the midfield. You've got an argument that Sterling is played as an out-and-out -out striker. He is a midfielder. Is Kane doing enough at the front to lead the team in midfield and the back? That's my question. Him at the front scoring goals, but not as captain. It's got to be someone else. You need someone at the back leading. Can we do it? Yeah, we would like to think so. Against Belgium. Will we do it? <laughs> oh. All right, it's on you. On me. Will Southgate be able to signal from the south sidelines using just one arm? Why wouldn't he be able to? It's apparently Gareth Southgate was out running, and I don't know how he managed to do this, but he appears to have dislocated his shoulder. Well, Telling Kane to go forward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, I haven't seen Southgate do much signalling at all. He just sits there with his hands in his yes. pockets, looking cute in his yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> looks like he's dressed for dinner, to be honest. <laughs> you know what I mean? Next question. Me? Yes. yes. Can England match or beat Belgium's total of three goals against Panama? Yes. In oh. short, there is absolutely no reason why. Bold statement, but yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, up front, Panama have um, Blas Perez, who's now 37. I mean, to me, I was, I was shocked wow. he was still playing, but wow. he's now, I believe, in Guatemala, playing wow. for a team. Or oh, retired from the MLS. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it says something about the Guatemalan League when they're the retirement league for MLS. Ah, right. OK, so that's where MLS you know, players go to die. Good, useful player, but as I say, he's no Harry Kane, he's no you know, Lukaku, anything like that. At the back, the player who will get the most attention is a guy called Roman Torres. He is yeah. with Seattle Sounders. Good team in the MLS, one of the best, right? You know, these players, yeah, good, solid professionals. But again, you look at man for man who we have yeah. versus what Panama have. A few goals should be a formality. Next question. Was it a penalty for Tunisia? My thoughts was initially no. He went down very easily. Yeah, I thought the player pretty much ran into the back of Kyle Walker there. Um, and he wasn't looking, right? Kyle Walker was, well, caught very, very strange. He was facing his own goal. Yeah. He clearly had no idea where Ben Yusef was, the attacker. Um, he then just sort of raised his arm, OK? And that's when Ben Yusef ran into or was caught. I would say clothesline. Yeah, <laughs> clotheslined. And the referee hands that a penalty. Yeah. It's the sort of thing that goes unpunished in the Premier League week in, week out. Yeah, of course it, it does. does yeah, we see it all the time. So what about the decisions against England? The Harry Kane incident in the 40th minute. The ref just moves so quickly as if to just dismiss, dismiss it. it. No, no VAR call, nothing. So Harry Kane now has to score goals and become a professional wrestler. Apparently, that's now the thing. What's the point if they're not going to make those decisions and, and, and get that call? There's 10 people in that room. God knows what they're doing, right? Yeah, and I think, I think that's... I've seen plenty of memes about what they are doing in the room, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to go into them on camera, but... No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, FIFA. Yes. <laughs> All right, this is the last one, Richard. My God, this is a novel. What the... F Looks like he's got a picture. What do you make it out, Richard? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the England squad training in a swimming pool with blow-up unicorns. I mean, is that kind of like a testament to us winning the World Cup? Are we going to be that unicorn? I want to know, it looks like they're having a race. I want to know who won. Yeah, do we have more on this story, guys? Like, you know, I mean, we're Sterling offside there. I mean... <laughs> 
Is Kane declaring that he won even though he didn't? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to think that's like an exercise in strengthening the quad muscles. Yes, <laughs> yes. Guys, if we get any further, we've got to get one of them. That would be brilliant, yeah, honestly. Can we go to yeah, we just we we sitting on them on a table here. No, we'll go we'll go to the pool. We'll have a go ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> do the show on them. <laughs> Thanks for the questions, Richard. Um, you're leaving us next week. I am. Um, good trip. Make sure you get plenty of videos, plenty of pictures for our next episode, and hopefully you come back safe. Go safe. That's Please don't get arrested. That is the plan. <laughs> don't end up with Jamie Vardy in a hotel somewhere That's drinking right. beers. Well, <laughs> what, what could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong with that? <laughs> I don't want you upsetting the uh, team morale, you know? No, no. I don't no. want to see you on any unicorns in a pool somewhere.